synthetic human insulin was the first golden molecule of the biotech industry and the direct result of recombinant DNA technology. Currently, millions of diabetics worldwide use synthetic insulin to regulate their blood sugar levels. Synthetic insulin is made in both bacteria and yeast. In order to get bacteria to make insulin, a number of factors need to be considered. Genes in eukaryotes have introns. Bacteria do not have introns in their genes, and so they do not have biochemical machinery to remove introns. Also eukaryotic proteins are processed after translation. Insulin is first translated into preproinsulin, which is 108 amino acid long. First 24 amino acids are signal protein, which leads preproinsulin out of cell. It is cleaved off leaving proinsulin in pancreas, for further processing. Protein folds into looped structure, as desulfide bridges are made, between cysteine amino acids. 33 stretch of amino acid is cleaved off leaving mature insulin. In order to get bacteria to make insulin, First DNA is made based on protein sequence of two insulin chains. A and B These DNA fragments are the inserted into plasmids. Each DNA fragment is inserted into the beta-galactosidase gene on a plasmid. The plasmids also have tetracycline resistance gene. Plasmids are then transformed into bacteria. Tetracycline is added to kill off any untransformed bacteria. The transformed bacteria are grown, then beta-galactosidase and insulin fusion protein is harvested and purified. The beta-galactosidase part of the protein is cleaved off and discarded. The two protein chains are mixed finally into insulin, made from bacteria.